guys it's already 22 12 so it is quite late in the day and i'm just finishing my breakfast i do have an excuse um i have a bad cold we've all been tested we're all fine um and yeah so i thought i definitely needed the sleep so i didn't get up until like 10 o'clock i don't think this morning i've actually been slacking a little bit on the work front like i've not been doing anywhere near as much as usual like i've just been sort of like going through the motions and doing the bits that i need to get done i also feel like the workload's got like a tiny bit lighter like towards exam time um because we're like a week away from the end of term now so yeah i've been really sort of like capitalizing on it and just taking it as a little bit of a breather before i have to like hit the ground running for exams and like they are open book and 24 hours so Obviously my revision schedule is going to be like a lot less intensive than if they were timed and if I had to remember everything. So yeah, I mean I've got an essay, I've got an equity essay that's due next Thursday and it's Tuesday today and I haven't even started looking at the reading or thinking about writing the essay so I think that's going to be stressful but basically it's one of the ones where you take your highest mark forward and I've already done one and I've got a decent 2-1 in it so at this point I'm kind of struggling to care too much about it like I'll do my best and hopefully do better because I'm usually better at essays but yeah I'm just not that stressed about it at the moment which I mean I can't complain really so yeah I don't think I'm gonna do that today I might think about that today so anyway I need to get some work done today because I didn't do any work yesterday because I felt like really unwell yesterday on my list today I've got equity week 10 podcast so we're in week 10 now equity week 9 reading so obviously that's last week's reading but I've done all the podcasts already and I need to do like an update for 180 so with my role we've sort of changed how we're doing the exec meeting so I'll have a meeting tonight but I need to like put stuff on the document that I've been doing this week which I actually have had to do quite a few things this week for that so I need to do a little update and also module selection so I've had a look at it and like I've written a list of things that I potentially want to do but I'm not 100% sure so I thought I would show you like what I'm thinking for next year for my modules because I get to choose all of my modules next year I've only ever been able to choose one 15 credits so far so quite exciting to be able to choose what we want to study like all of next year so yeah I thought I'd show you my module selection process as well and what I'm considering I also have a seminar today at 1 30 for equity and trust which is why I want to do the equity and trust podcast and reading today so I can get into that mindset I also have my taught essay which is like 50% of my final grade so I've did my exam at Christmas um and I've got my 50% taught essay releasing this Thursday as well. So my exam period this year is going to be two land exams, which one's just multiple choice timed for 30 minutes. One of them's one problem question, but like 1,500 words, so like a big problem question. And I've also got an equity and trust exam, which I'm not sure how many words that is, but that is... 60% of our final grade I want to say and then for human rights and human dignity I've got a 3,000 word essay with a 500 word reflective commentary which is 100% of my grade and for tour I've got that 50% essay which will be on a topic within negligence so I'm going to do some equity podcasts now
it's quarter past one and I haven't finished the podcast quite yet but I'm gonna go have some lunch before my seminar which is at like 35 past one. So it's half two now and I've just had my seminar, which was my last equity seminar ever. And I'm going to finish watching the podcast I didn't quite finish before. Um, and I've also like picked off all of my nail um, shellac. So I'm gonna do that afterwards as well because it's a really productive thing to do with my time. now and I've just done my nails um which look very nice so I'm going to quickly look at like the meeting document for 180 and like see if there's any updates I need to read and I'm just going to add in the stuff that I've been working on this week um before the meeting to so my housemates in her seminar until half past four so I'm just going to do that until half past and then my meeting's at half five so we're going to go for a walk in that in between bit because the weather is so nice outside it's really warmed up as well like I've been in a t-shirt all day and I'm usually freezing in this house actually didn't take me very long because not many people have written on it so I've just put my little update um in my section but I'm going to show you my like rough provisional choices for module selection because I thought you might like to see it it's kind of fun so I have done a little table with how many credits it is um and just like obviously the module down here and then sort of like how it's assessed down here so basically in my mind I was like oh, I'm going to take everything that sort of relates to the kind of job that I want to do so I'll go all commercial law and down all of that route this year and then <laughs> I saw gender sexuality and law and I was like I feel like I have to take that like I feel like I can't not take that um because it sounds like an absolute bit of me so I feel like I feel quite firm on this one at the moment and then also criminal justice sounds really good so it sort of takes you through the process from like start to finish through the criminal justice system and it's two three thousand word essays and it's a 30 credit module so you do that in both terms which also sounds really really interesting and i thought you had to do a dis or a half dis so that's why i highlighted at the top because i was going to choose a dis over a half dissertation or like a research paper whatever they call it but i actually don't think you have to do either from looking at it so like I could do all modules so I need to think long and hard about whether I want to do a dissertation I feel like I kind of do because I do love an essay and I would love to like research something and have like a new bit of research that I really get to like get my head into for the whole year so I need to think long and hard about whether I'm going to do a diss and yeah these are the other things that I've written down so far so if I do gender sexuality in the law it's in term one so I need to pick a term 215 credit so yeah what I've written down so far these are all like abbreviations as well like these aren't exactly what some of them are called but I thought planning law sound really really interesting especially having worked in like a surveying firm and then I'm sort of torn between commercial law and company law and I could potentially do both and yeah competition law my housemate does that now and he really enjoys that so I might do that as my term too obviously like considering when exams are when essays are and like how everything's assessed is kind of important um so you know how your work's going to be spaced out and like how you like to be assessed but yeah that's where I'm up to so far I have quite a lot of options and I need to choose quite soon I want to go for like a nice mix between what I think I'd enjoy doing the theory of and also like the more 
sort of like business focused modules as well so that's something that i need to factor in i'll probably do sort of like a half and half ish split of the more sort of like theory things that i can learn about like the social issues and things like that and also the more sort of like businessy um companies like all of that sort of side of the law as well so i want to strike a nice balance between that um because i think too much of either would make it un unenjoyable next year yeah so that's where i'm at, at the moment so far we have medical ethics or medical ethics foundation company law gender sexuality and law commercial law planning law competition law law politics and power international commercial litigation international commercial arbitration and criminal justice thought I'd show you that because, yeah because I think that's something that I definitely would be nosy about we're just gonna go for a walk to the cathedral now um this is what I'm wearing <laughs> cathedral which is really nice it's such nice weather and everyone's out so it's half five now and i just need to log on to this meeting which will be probably about an hour um and then probably have some dinner to nine and I've just made some dinner and I was watching TV with my housemates for a bit and I've just had to do some emails I was just checking my emails for um like YouTube and for I had to send out the minutes um I usually do it straight after the meeting but we were having dinner so I went down to have dinner instead now I've got to film like an Instagram story thing for 180 quickly so i'm gonna do that now and then probably gonna get ready for bed and do some reading quarter past nine now and i've done that little video thing that i needed to do and i am choosing my next book so i thought i'd talk to you quickly about what books i've been reading so i've literally just finished this last night which is know my name by chanel miller which is a memoir so she's the survivor of the Stanford sexual assault case. If you remember Brock Turner, like a few years ago. Honestly, like, I cannot recommend this enough. So, like, moving. I was so invested in it. Like, I really, like, felt so much of it. I think she so, sort of, beautifully encapsulates, like, so many issues. And so, like, puts them so, sort of, perfectly. And it covers, like, so many issues, like, systemic, structural, social issues. But it's also really, like, moving powerful it's accessible it's just so good like so well written it is obviously has all of the trigger warnings and i did find it emotional like i think you have to be in the right headspace to read certain things and i think this is one of them like if you've had any of these like experiences it's obviously going to be triggering i cried at quite a lot of it like it was like an emotional journey but like some things i find really really upset me and like make me feel like really sort of down about like the world but this one's still really like uplifting there's so many moments of hope in it and the ending's like positive speaks about how people reach out to her like wrote letters to her and things like that and it, you feel like this sort of like collective power and that there is still like good and that and there are still people that support and believe victims and that there is still hope i still found it like really hopeful and i didn't go away from it just feeling like drained and sad but yeah brilliant would highly recommend it i think i'm actually gonna sign off here and just do some reading and stuff in bed because i've been quite chatty so i probably have quite a lot of footage for today i really hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you did you know the drill and i will see you in the next video